you, you can fit a million Earths inside the sun. So how do we conceive of that? The radius is something like a hundred times the radius of the Earth. That means that if you got in a, a passenger aircraft, well, it'd take something like a year to fly around the sun in a passenger aircraft. It becomes inconceivable. And the sun's quite a small star. So then we start to think of bigger distances. So the, the most distant object that we created, we built, the Voyager 1 spacecraft. Three, two, one. MDS, do we have ignition? We have a liftoff. Is now well over 150 astronomical units from the Earth, 150 times the distance from the Earth to the Sun. What does that mean? It takes light over 22 hours to reach it. So a signal at the speed of light to go to the most distant object we are in communication with, which has been flying since the 1970s. And then we have 365 times that a light year, which is to the, the frozen edge of the sun's influence, the edge of the Oort cloud. Four times further than that, you get to the nearest star, the Proxima Centauri, the Alpha Centauri system. That star about four light years away or so. So that's inconceivable. And then you start to talk about the, well, a galaxy then, the Milky Way galaxy. We're all in orbit around the center of the Milky Way galaxy. How big is this collection of stars? Somewhere between 200 and 400 billion suns in the Milky Way galaxy. About 100,000 light years across. And then you say, well, what about the nearest galaxy? So, so you go outside on a clear night where there's no moon and it's dark away from the city lights. And if you know where to look, you can just about see our nearest neighboring large galaxy. It's called the Andromeda Galaxy. That galaxy is two and a half million light years away. It means the light entering your eye began its journey before we had evolved on Earth. And then you start to say, well, what about the other galaxies? So we've measured galaxies now out to what we close to the edge of the observable universe with instruments like the James Webb Space Telescope, from which the light has journeyed for over 13 billion years to reach us. 13,000 million years to reach us. And the universe has been expanding in that time. So the most distant thing you can see in the universe that we can detect light from is called the cosmic microwave background radiation. So the cosmic microwave background radiation is light that was emitted 380,000 years after the Big Bang. So that's been traveling for 13.8 billion.